My name is Edwin Grimsley. I'm a senior case analyst at the Innocence Project, and I've been here for almost 10 years. You know, even working in the intake department for all those 10 years is that everyone I've worked with has always been in tune to freeing innocent people from prison. That mission, I think, even today, um, is still in my heart uh, for why I joined the Innocence Project. The first exoneration I worked on was Nathan Brown, and he was in prison for 17 years for an attempted rape he did not do in Louisiana. The beauty of it is it starts from just an initial letter and it goes to reading everything about the case to the trial transcript to how someone became a suspect and then coming up with you know the actual DNA theory that's going to exonerate them in the end. And you know one of the things that I've been why I've invested in it is because I grew up you know in the inner city and I knew my friends were not treated that well, um, who were poor and black, and I cannot leave them behind and I must actually keep on doing this type of work towards something that actually comes up with solutions and helps the future you know, generations not have to go through that. And we're at a time right now in our country where people want to know about you know, race and criminal justice system, about solutions to it, but I think wrongful convictions actually plays a, a big role in that too. Even where black youth still remain, the majority are actually youth uh, who are arrested and convicted of youth crimes. But when you think of wrongful convictions, it's, it's way even more staggering. I think what I want to continue actually and move the, my focus on getting a PhD degree is going to be on race and policing work and mainly about coming up with real public policy solutions on the, the inequities and the systemic racism within the system. And I really believe in being here at the Innocence Project, just how much of an effect it has on the criminal justice system at large.